What is going on, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy Spanko, and today I'm back. Why are you showing you? Off? I should be showing you all. <laughs> We're back with another video with Mrs. Spanko, and uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than our typical Yu-Gi-Oh video. So, as you guys may know, she knows this pretty well, but I'm a pretty avid Yu-Gi-Oh collector. This binder, I think this one's worth about fifteen thousand dollars. Like everything that's in here, everything, everything that's in here is like fifteen thousand. Anyways, it's like, <laughs> it's I, insane. Yeah, yeah, and and the, I mean, obviously, I collect a lot more than just these. So I have a, I have a lot of money with the cards. But in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing her like specific cards some of the more expensive cards that I have in here and uh, she's gonna react to the prices so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show her a card she's gonna guess what the card is probably worth and then I'll tell you if your guess is accurate how close you were and then I'll tell you how much it actually is okay I have questions though why what go why, <laughs> why do you have questions well, yeah, what kind of questions? okay what's like the value of like the smallest I guess smallest value card. I can't. Oh, so it's okay. So if anyone doesn't know, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh GX binder. Okay, here I'll show you them real quick. I have a whole series where I'm trying to complete this What's entire binder. What's the cheapest binder. card? What's the most expensive card? Sorry. So the cheapest card is like fifty cents. The most expensive card is like a thousand two hundred. Oh, okay. Maybe thousand three hundred. Yeah. For one card. Yeah, for a single card. No, no, no. I swear to God. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Why is the fifty cent card grouped in with the thousand dollars? Because this is an entire collection. This is not a question. <laughs> okay, right? okay, okay. So she's gonna be reacting. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. I would say just like this one, but we don't do this very often. So I think this is gonna be kind of fun and kind of different. Are you ready? Are you yeah, I'm like that GIF, you know, where they're calculating. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. so this is the whole thing. You're gonna be okay. maybe shocked. Okay, should I start off high and go lower? Or we'll just go random, I guess. No, yeah. random. We'll do how many cards do you wanna do in total? Maybe we'll do like a nice mix of them. Let's let's see what we're gonna start off with. This is gonna be so hard. We'll start off with something kind of like kind of easy. Like you should kind of know that. No, this not is that you should know, but $2. something here. Just to give you guys give you guys a little starter. We have this evil hero. Um, is this malicious edge? Or malicious fiend. Okay. All right. So what do you think this is worth? Because some cards are tricky. Some cards might not look that impressive, but be really expensive. Some cards might be really. Like, look nice. What's a good hint for me to be? Like, there, I want to guess. Are you serious? It's just really by rarity. Uh, okay, I'm going to say this one's not that special. I'm going to say 10 bucks. Oh, that's actually spot on. Really? Yeah, this, yes. is, this is like 10, 10 to 12 bucks. Let's go. That's actually that's pretty impressive, actually. Okay, so we're starting off good. Okay. okay. So let's get a little bit harder now. Um, we're going to go, we're going to jump right into this. Murder. This is Fire. a Starlight Rare. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix's Forcer. All right, so we got a nice start. Like Long name. Thing. Yeah. Big price. Okay, let's see. No, that's not, that's not how it Okay, works. this is different. It has a different finish on the card. Yeah, so oh, that's what's known as a Starlight Rare. 50. Uh, you, you want me to take one more guess? Am I far off? Yeah, you're pretty far off. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. More? Yeah, so at the current time of this recording... There's no way someone's buying this for more than... I bought it. <laughs> guess, guess. Are you guess. okay? <laughs> guess. Just guess, just guess. Okay, a hundred. So at this current fifty. At this current moment, uh, this is about four hundred USD. Yeah. What? Yeah. So this is about for one card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The, the price is always fluctuating. And it's just sitting in here. Yeah. Do you do with it? Well, no, this is part of my collection. I mean, so you could what do is with the it. point, people? You could do with this. This is actually a relevant card that you can play with, but uh, wow, okay. yeah, that's about $400. $400. Yeah, I mean, probably, it could be between $350, $400, oh, sometimes it goes up to $450, up and down. Yeah, so um, yeah, I mean, there's that. Let's give you something a little bit more fun. <laughs> okay, maybe something a little bit easier, right? Like, How did you give me a $10 card and then you're like, let's step it up. Give me a $400 Here, card. Here, okay, this card might be something. So, oh, Ghost Rare. Yeah, yeah, so this is good price. This is a Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon from the Ghost uh, GFTP2. Goes from the past, all right? So, uh, how much do you think this might be worth? It's a Ghost Rare, so it's like, you know, it's, it's high end. 200 no, funny enough. It's actually a lot cheaper. It's one of the cheaper... Oh, just items. 100 probably? I think closer to... I think it's closer to the $80 mark. 80 to 100 That is crazy. You can barely see the design on it. Okay, so that's kind of the point. Yeah, that's the whole point. The whole point is a ghost. It's like at a certain angle. I wonder if the camera can catch the angle. At like certain angles, you see it? Do you see like the kind of rainbow? Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it doesn't really matter what the rarity of the card is. Some cards could be like, you know, ghost rare and be on the lower end. Some cards might not be ghost rare and still be on the higher end. Wait, what's uh, this one? This one's nice. That's like a $5 card. 
Oh. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. It's just a side yeah. so see. Anyways, all right. So let's uh let's step things up a little bit. I'm going to show you probably one of the two most expensive cards in my collection. All right. Okay. And I don't know exactly which one's worth more right now, but the one I'm going to be showing you is the Ultimate Rare First Edition Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wing Man. Shining you Flare you Man. love this card. Uh, well, yeah, the Flame Wing Man is my favorite card. This is like an upgrade from the Flame Wing Man. Okay, so everyone can see what it is. Right. All right, so take a look at this. Be, be very careful, please. <laughs> be very careful. This is a near mint. Obviously, the prices always depend on condition. Uh, the price that I'm going to be saying with these cards, obviously, is also going to depend on the condition. This is near mint, though. So it's like basically the best condition you can find. Didn't you see like the most expensive was like thirteen hundred or something? Yeah, about the one thousand. It's between a thousand to twelve hundred. The things are all over. I'm gonna say twelve hundred. Yeah. That's about one thousand two hundred dollars for this. Yeah. So I actually got that at nationals when I was at nationals. So uh, I actually did a whole big trade for this. It's in the vlog if you guys want to watch that vlog. Yeah, that singular card is about. It's between a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. That is insane. Depending on what. Are you taking yes. it away? You don't trust me with it? Nope. <laughs> the way you're holding that was kind of. Do you know cool. how much you could buy with that? I mean, it's twelve hundred. I mean, this whole collection is fifteen. Like, okay, so here's another one that's very high. It's kind of up there as well. This guy just showed me a twelve hundred dollar card casually. Yeah, I mean, here's here's another really high end one. This is Elemental Hero Air Neos. So do like Ultimate most people have these? No, that's why they're very expensive. <laughs> okay. There's not that many people who have these kind of cards. So this one's also kind of high up there. I'll tell you right now, this is like up there. The one that you actually, this one's really nice. I think this one's the second fave. The one that you showed me that was four hundred dollars. That yeah. one, like you could tell, it was very expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But th that one you can't for. So these are older school. So oh. Konami didn't go out of their way to be like, this is shiny. Oh okay. Versus now. Well, like, for oh. that much money, they shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, how much do you think this is? Nine hundred. Yeah, that's actually like it. Yeah, it's about it's about eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. That's nice. This one's nice. This is this is like one of my probably top three favorite ones. All right, let's let's go down a little bit lower. Let's get rid of the high end stuff here. Let's humble ourselves. Um, well, a little bit lower. So this is a newer print. This is Elemental Hero Neos, and it's a Pharaoh's Rare for Magnificent Mavens. Do you see that little glare on the yep. foil? All right. So That's this nice. is a, this is a newer print of Neos. This is really nice. Okay, yeah. it makes sense. So they the, tried hard on this one. Yeah. So they're pretty hard to find. Those. That's technically considered the higher rarity, the highest rarity maybe of Neos. How much do you think that's worth? Five hundred. No, 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 less, less, less. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Um, a <laughs> hundred? Yeah, it's about a hundred. It's like it's ninety-five to one hundred and five in that range. This is like when I go to Sephora and then and then she goes and she's like, <laughs> yeah, I just bought this and it's like this small and she's like, yeah, seventy dollars. I was like, but now do you understand? No, I don't understand because well, this is a collectible market. This so is gonna only go up in price. Your makeup is not gonna go up in price. It might. Right. It'll expire actually. <laughs> yeah, it will be. Yeah, it'll just, be, it'll just go bad. That is crazy. Yeah. So you could sell one of those cards, so we could get. No, whatever you want. No, the answer is no. Boot your bag. I'm just kidding, guys. Guys, she's wanted a coffee, made like a two thousand dollar coffee machine forever. It's not reasonable. And I vowed to not go to Starbucks. It's not. It's and not, I vowed. It's not reasonable. I might still go though, because it's really good. <laughs> get out of here. A two thousand. Okay, so we sell one card, just one. You know how hard. And it is I to can get my coffee cards? machine. Let's go back so, to the elemental heroes. Actually. Where do you source these cards from? As a YouTuber, people come to me. Ooh. Well, actually, it didn't start off like that. When I first started collecting, I would actually go out of my way to find high-end collectors, try to make deals. Um, luckily now, with my platform, people actually just message me sometimes and be like, hey, I have this collection, or I have this one card, you might need it for your collection. And let's have it over. Good business strategy. Yeah. Okay. So here, let me show that to this. <laughs> this is an uh, elemental hero collection. Spark Man, secret, right? Tell me how much you think. That one's one beautiful. Secret. It is. So these, I'm just, the I'm just gonna show the camera all of these while you guys, while you're thinking about that. Like all of the heroes came as that secret rare. They're all beautiful. Um, I have more, but how much do you think that one is worth? Okay, question on the side, guys. What do these stars mean? I always see them up here. Oh, so the stars is the level of a monster. So basically the rules of the game, if the monster's level is four or lower, you can summon it without having to pay any additional mm -hmm. cost. Oh, so this is just okay. something you can just start and you turn and summon. So this isn't that good of a card though if that has four. It's like a nostalgic collectible thing though. People. Yes. Are you hearing this? Honestly, most of the cards I've shown so far. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not going too crazy. You were yeah. throwing yeah, yeah, me she off. Yeah, she does Stuff's all over the place. 50. This might no, no, no. 80. Final answer. That's... Wait, actually? Yeah, yeah. It's actually about 80 bucks. <laughs> How did you get that? I don't know. Um, yeah, so these cards, like a lot of them, the, the fluctuate in value. They're not necessarily exactly the 80, but like, yeah. Can I sell it books. to you? Can you sell this card to me? Yeah. It's already mine. No, but I, I have it now. You gave it to me. Get your hands off. Anybody wants to see my binder? 
Oh yeah, she has a binder as well, but it's just Pokemon stuff mostly. That's all I got. Okay, she'll get some Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll get into Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh eventually. Oh, this one right here. So this one was... I want to say it's a recent pickup, but it's not that recent. This is another Ghost Rare. It's a Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare, first edition. Why did you get that one that's $1,200 graded? Uh, because I need it for this collection. So I don't want to get it graded because now then I would need another one to have in the collection. Right, right. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I feel like Ghost Rares are expensive. What yeah, was the other one? can't be. Cyber Dragon was the other one you saw. This is a Rainbow Dragon. $200. <laughs> Yo, this is actually really bad. Yeah, that's actually very accurate to what it is. Um, so mine's like a lightly played version, which is about like 200, 220 bucks. That's really good. How are you guessing? I'm actually surprised. I did not think she would be guessing these numbers like this as well, actually. I thought she was going to say like 20 and then get a surprise when she sees like 300. This is so crazy to me that it's worth this much though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm throwing out these numbers because you know, I don't have to spend money on it. So it's easy to say those numbers. But if I spent $1,200, it'd be like When you see it, listen, when you guys see it come out of your bank account, that way, that's what I That's painful. When I when I make these deals, I'm like, oh, 1,200, nice, easy. Yeah. I made the deal, I got it at a good price. You know, let's say a card is like 1,200 and then they're like, yo, I'll do it for a thousand. In my head, save $200. My bank account, I'm like, wait, why is my bank account so low now? Oh my god. Alright, so here's another card that is kind of on the higher end. Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition, right? So first you, edition? Oh, yeah, all so everything in here is first edition. I only collect like highest rare. Well, well, well. Unless it doesn't come in first edition. Some don't come in first edition, but if it can, it will. How, how much is that, do you think? Mm. You'd be awfully <laughs> not cautious with this. It must be very expensive if you're like this. 800. No. More? No, I'm, so maybe I should have started off with the lower end stuff and went high because now you're going really high. Okay, this. I was gonna say 400. Yeah, it's like 450. <gasps> Guys, that's impressive. Did you, I was gonna say 400 and then you were making me nervous. No, it's impressive. I feel like I should have started low and went higher because <laughs> then your first reaction on the DPE was like, what? And then now your reactions are like, everything is Okay, wait, what was that? Sorry. What? I've never seen a card like this. Oh, it's oh, signed. signed! Yeah, yeah, some of these cards were signed by Aster and Jaden. That must be worth more. Yeah, speaking of, actually, I guess the video is long enough now. So let's end things <laughs> off with a signed card right over here. My favorite card of all time. And this is like my treasure. The Elemental Hero, Flame Wing Man, Gold Stamp. By this the way, fave. Gold Stamp is really important with this. I'll explain later. But Gold Stamp, signed by Jaden Yuki's voice actor himself. How much do you think this is approximately worth? This is like my favorite. It's not the most expensive card in my collection, but it's my favorite card of all time. Does it add value to it that it's been signed by him? Is, well, let's is yeah, it... let's just remove the sign. I don't know if it adds. Or it it. <laughs> I think it adds because for me, personally, I love it. Yes. yeah. For me, if, if you're a Jaden Yuki fan, it probably adds. But it how much is... do you think the card is worth without the signature? It is gold stamped. It's gold stamped. So there's a gold stamp and there's a silver stamp. Silver stamp's a lot easier to get. It's a different explanation. Some of these are gold stamped though. They're all gold stamped. Oh, okay, yeah, great. Because the first first edition, edition. exactly. Right. Um, okay, I am going to guess five, four, 500. They're really hard to find on the market. I personally paid 200 for mine. Is it worth? I think it's worth a little bit more. I don't want to say it's like 300, maybe 300 ish. I know I got a good deal when I got it. I can't believe that. But yeah, this is a 300 to 400 dollar card, depending. And again, they're so hard to find on the market. There's no real one set market value for this. You really just 200 dollars for one card. How many cards do you have in this? A lot. I mean, it's full almost. That's crazy. Okay, so the value of all of them is like fifteen thousand dollars. About fifteen thousand. This this binder. And how much do you think you paid for all those cards? Uh, probably not fifteen thousand. Actually, not even close. Because also keep in mind, some of these the card value goes up over time, and when I bought them, I got them for cheaper. <sighs> right. So, yeah. You get a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could sell that and get a car. Yeah, that this, could be a down this, payment on a house. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and this is not including the other, the other part of my. There's this more. Is, this is GX. There's more. Yeah, there's more. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Did you have fun? Uh, we're gonna have to have a conversation about it's it. Not that bad. It's not this. bad spending habits. It's uh, it's investments. It's stocks. It's like stocks. What are you gonna do with those? Just let them sit there, collect dust. No, they don't collect us. I do videos like this. I look at them occasionally. <laughs> I keep them stored away. These are babies. Oh, okay. This is a binder. It's not even finished yet. This is a binder that I'm going to finish one day. And what it is, it's going to be <laughs> it's the, not uh, finished. No, it's not finished. There's, you know, so actually, let me just say this before we head off. There's a couple cards in here worth more than my most expensive card. So oh, like and you want them? Yeah, that I haven't been able to find How you gonna at get a good them? price yet. Well, I mean, I've been trying to make deals, but it's tough. Like, there's an Ultimate Rare First Edition Sunday Dragon. That's about $1,000. Yeah. Ultimate Rare First Edition Ancient Gear Golem. That's about another $1,000. Oh! Ultimate Rare First Edition Cyber Engine. Sorry, it's just my heart. It's stopping. That's about $1,500. <laughs> you know what? 
Cost aside, you do deserve it. You work so hard. I do work really hard. And I deserve this. <laughs> I know it. It's worth it. Alright, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know it was kind of a different kind of video, but uh, we're gonna have that talk later. <laughs> thank you for being on the channel, Mrs. Fanko, as always. If you guys wanna see more, Mrs. Fanko, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what are you gonna tell them to do before we uh, sign out? Um, first of all, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let us know what else you guys wanna see. I wanna be on the channel more. Educate me on Yu Gi Oh! Educate. Yeah, so let us know in the comment section down below. And Happy New Year. I don't know exactly when this video is going to go up. It's going to go up before the New Year. Mm -hmm. But just in case, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you guys have the best, most blessed New Year's Day and the rest of the 2023. And uh, with that, uh, Spanko and Mrs. Spanko signing out. Peace. <laughs>